Now the next question is very standard question. We can write this S and X as this summation 10 inverse K plus 1X minus KX upon 1 plus KX into K plus 1X which is this summation 10 inverse K plus 1X minus 10 inverse of KX. Now we put the value of this summation then it starts from 1 so it will be 10 inverse 2x minus 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse 3x minus 10 inverse 2x and finally it will go up to 10 inverse n plus 1x minus 10 inverse nx. Now all these they will cancel so we will get this s and x as Ten inverse n plus one x minus ten inverse of x, which is ten inverse a minus b. So it will be this n x upon one plus a into b. So it will be n plus one into x square, and that's your function s n x. Now the first part is we need to find s ten x. Now this s ten x will be ten inverse. 10x upon 1 plus 11x square. Now, since x is greater than 0, we can write this as cot inverse 1 plus 11x square upon 10x. And we know that cot inverse x is pi by 2 minus 10 inverse x. So, it will be pi by 2 minus 10 inverse 1 plus 11x square upon 10x. So, that means this option A, it is correct. Now, if we look at this option B, then this cot of this limit n tends to infinite. Now, if we take limit n tends to infinite, this limit will be 10 inverse of now coefficient of n. Here it is x and here it is x square. Now, this x and x will cancel. So, we'll get this as cot of 10 inverse of 1 by x. And since x is greater than 0, it is nothing but it is cot of cot inverse of x, which is nothing but x. So, that means this option B is also correct. Now, we look at this S3x. Now, it says S3x equals pi by 4 has a root n 0 to infinite. Now, S3 is 10 inverse 3x upon 1 plus 4x square. And if we take it equal to pi by 4, then we'll get this as 4x square minus 3x plus 1 equals 0. Now, for this, if we find d, d is 9 minus 16, which is less than 0. That means this is always positive. So, this equation, it won't have any real root. So, that means this option C, it is incorrect. And then finally, this D, which is 10 SNX. Now, if we look at this 10 SNX, now this 10 SNX will be NX upon 1 plus N plus 1X square. Now, if we take this as y and if we differentiate this function dy by dx, then it will be equal to 1 minus n plus 1 x square into n upon 1 plus n plus 1 x square whole square. So, here we will get 1 root and which is 1 upon under root of n plus 1. Now, this is plus and this is minus. So, this function, it will have a local maxima at 1 upon under root n plus 1. Now, if we find its value at 1 upon under root n plus 1, this value will be n upon under root of n plus 1 by 2, which is n upon 2 under root n plus 1. Now, this is greater than n upon 2 root n which is under root n by 2. So, this value is always greater than 1 by 2 not less than 1 by 2. So, that means this option D is incorrect. So, the correct options are A and B.